Hey everybody, Jared here from ppccampaigngenerator.com. If you want AdWords editor tricks and more, visit ppccampaigngenerator.com. In this video, I want to show you a common technique that some paid search engine marketers use. The concept is you have one keyword for each ad group, and you don't want to do this for every single keyword in your account, just the keywords that matter. So the idea is you isolate the high volume keywords that are high cost and high impressions so you can really evaluate the performance of those keywords. There are some tools out there that you can pay a lot of money for to create your campaign structure, but I'm telling you that using AdWords Editor and Excel, you can do it really quick. So, to get started, I'm on a popular e-commerce website here. I just came here to choose a product. We're going to choose Men's Shoes. So I go over to the keyword tool, Men's Shoes, Shoes for Men. We're going to search this, and for the sake of time, just assume that these keywords are good. These are the keywords you want to bid on. So what I'm going to do is open up this keyword list. I'm going to remove that, add two columns to the left of it. This is going to be the campaign column, ad group, keyword, match, type, max, CPC, and if you want, you can have a destination URL. I'm not going to put it in. Okay, so what do we want to call our campaign? Let's call it Men's Shoes. What's the ad group name going to be? It's going to equal the keyword because we want to put each keyword in its own ad group and give it the match type, broad, phrase, and exact. That's the whole purpose of this tutorial. So what I like to do is proper capitalize each ad group name. We'll close it. And now we have our campaign and our ad group names, so we just drag them down. For the match type, we want to start with broad. And the max CPC, we'll just say 30 cents. Okay, so now we have our keywords with the match type of broad, 30 cents. You copy those and you paste them right below it, and you change the match type from broad to phrase. and then you change the bid a little bit higher than the broad because you don't want to pay the same amount for a broad match type versus a phrase match type so make it 35 cents and then we literally copy the phrase match type and we're gonna make these exact match types and we're gonna make the bid 40 cents because it's a more precise keyword target alright so believe it or not we actually have our campaign ready to go here I'm going to copy this, go over to AdWords Editor here, I'm going to delete this campaign, and we're going to just go to the Keywords tab. We don't need to create a new campaign or anything, just go to the Keywords tab, hit Make Multiple Changes, paste your keywords in there, process them, and you're done. So we have our campaign structure for our campaign called Men's Shoes. Each keyword is in its own ad group and it has the match type broad, phrase, and exact and each match type has a different max CPC where broad is the lowest max CPC, exact is the highest, and phrase is somewhere in the middle. From here, now we want to know how to automate creating our ads. Now, one way you can do this, there's many ways, but here's one way. You can go here into one group, hit add text ad, and for the headline, just put in something that you can remember, like um, A A A A A. Okay. For line one, you're going to type out whatever your offer is. So I'm just going to whip something up here. Shop men's shoes up to 50% off. Line two, visit now for men's shoes today whatever whatever the ad is for the display URL it's going to be whatever your website is dot com dot net dot whatever so now we want to copy this ad and you're probably wondering what I'm doing what I'm going to do is make the ad more relevant to the ad group so I'm copying this ad go over to Excel open up a new tab paste it in copy from your headline to your destination URL go back to AdWords editor Go to Make Multiple Changes, 
and we are going to select all the ad groups within this campaign except for the one that you put the first ad in. Now we're going to hit next and what it's doing is it's putting that same ad in every single ad group. Why do we want to do this? Because now each ad has that same ad in each ad group. But we want to make the ad relevant to the keyword. So what we can do is select all the ads by hitting control A and then we can hit control H and you'll see my headline is A A A A A. So I'm going to go A A A A A. And I want to replace it with an open bracket ad group close bracket. Watch what happens. Replace all. And what that did was it replaced the keyword into the headline of each ad to make it as relevant as possible. Now you have to be careful with this technique because diesel men's shoes, diesel is a brand you don't want to be bidding on other people's brands but the point is to make the keyword and the ad as relevant to each other as possible and hopefully you have a landing page that's highly relevant as well. Another thing we could have done was used dynamic keyword insertion using this kind of tag here. And this is a parameter. We just wrap it around our default text. But why do that when you have one keyword and you already know what that keyword is? And you want to make the ad as relevant as possible. So this is a great technique if you have high volume keywords that you want to isolate and you can do it using Excel and AdWords Editor. For more AdWords Editor tips and tricks, visit ppccampaigngenerator.com and if you want the best software out there, download the 7-day trial of PPC Campaign Generator. Thanks for watching.